John from Seattle Coffee Gear. I'm here today with a crew review overview of the Malkunig EK43 Bulk Grinder. This grinder has been out for a while, but surprisingly we don't have any videos of it yet. So I thought it'd be a good time to put out a video and give you some feedback on our experience with this grinder. This is a really popular grinder across the whole realm of coffee. It's a popular grinder for coffee shops, for roasters, for coffee labs and cupping. And some folks even have the short version of this for home because you can get this in a shorter version with a smaller hopper, um, which is great for home use if you want like the ultimate grinder to use for home. Uh, you can use this for espresso all the way out to French press or anything like that. And if you want to see more info about the results of uh, the grind consistency and all that, there's a lot of studies done by people a lot more qualified than I am that you can check out if you just search online for those. But great grinder. Right now I have it set here down close to two and I was pulling some shots of a really light roast uh, Ethiopian coffee at this level and I was getting like a 30 second shot around there, about 20 grams for a double, uh, and probably like the, I think it was like 50 grams out or something like that. I was getting a lot of good, clean, sweet flavor out of that shot. So anything from two to zero, you could definitely do espresso. You're definitely getting close to the burrs touching in the zero range. We did calibrate this grinder and Malconig themselves have a fantastic series of videos on how to align the burrs, how to calibrate the grinder, how to clean it, how to do some of the basic maintenance. We don't feel the need to do any of our own videos just because those are so great. You can find those on their website, uh, Malconig USA's website. Uh, I can't remember the actual URL, but if you search for it, you'll find it there. Uh, they also have a bunch of videos on that on YouTube, so check those out. But can't go wrong with this grinder. It's just really well thought out, really well built. Um, to give you some info about it, kind of a brief overview, you do have your fuse on the back here. And then over here, you have your start stop switches. So the one turns the grinder on, the zero turns it off. So I'll add some coffee in there. This is your grind adjustment right here. I'm gonna leave it kind of where I had it. And then you have your hopper and you do have a sliding lock. So what a lot of people will do in a cafe if they're using this for espresso is they'll have a lot of little containers of coffee pre-weighed. And then as they're going through service, they'll click it on, toss the coffee in, not get rid of the lid, and then kind of open the hopper gate. It'll cruise through the beans, close it, and then turn it off once they're done. You also have a bag clip here. So it'll hold a bag or your finger uh, and you could grind directly into a bag. This is a really well thought out design here because these screws are actually on springs. So then when you use this as a knocker, uh, it has some springs there to kind of cushion the blow so this doesn't break immediately if you use it too often. Um, and this can also come off super easily for cleaning. The burrs are really easy to access for cleaning as well. So all that content is done by Malkunig USA and you can find that on their YouTube channel. Like I said, we're not gonna do any of that just because they have such fantastic content about that. But you get 98 millimeter burrs and a one horsepower motor in this. So Malkunig says this will grind for about 40 minutes at a time. Make sure to check the owner's manual on that to be sure. But you can let this run for a while. So if you're gonna be a roastery who's grinding through bags of coffee for your customers, you can leave this running and just dump coffee in it and keep it going. So if you are a high volume roasting facility or like a, probably more like a low to medium volume, you're not like a, an intelligence or counterculture or something like that, you can use this for a bolt grinder or a cupping grinder. They do have a different burr set for this that works better for the finer grind settings. That would be their Turkish burrs. But I found that you can get pretty decent espresso, not pretty decent, good espresso out of this with the standard burrs on it. But if you're planning on doing a lot of super fine grinding for Turkish, uh, which not many people are, you can order this with the Turkish burrs. 
just reach out to us and request that ahead of time. And once your order ships off, we can let Malkunig know and they can swap those out before the grinder ships out. So just contact us if you'd like the Turkish burrs instead of the regular burrs, and that's something that can happen. If that does change in the future, I'm sorry if you're watching this video now, but at the time of this video, it is possible to do that. That covers pretty much everything I wanted to say about this grinder. If you had questions on it, you can leave us a comment down below. All the stats and info are also on our website and there's a link in the description so you can check it out on our site. As I've said a few times throughout this video, make sure to check out Melkinig's USA's videos for cleaning, for maintenance, for burr changes, for alignments, all that sort of stuff. They have their own YouTube channel and you can also find it in their knowledge center on their website. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of the videos that we're putting out. We're always doing cool new videos on drink recipes, equipment reviews, overviews, crew comparisons, all that good stuff. So if you need more coffee videos in your feed, subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications. It helps us grow as well so we can make more content for you. Thank you again for watching and have a great rest of the day. Oh, yes.